of our strategic growth includes things like anticipating when new residence halls come online and sequencing the construction project so that it doesn't negatively impact the students too much. Um, and like I said before, we try to pay attention a lot to what our students need and get them those <coughs> services online in time. Um, for example, one of the things that's making me feel really old right now is the entering class of freshmen um, for this year was the last batch that were born in the 80s. Most of these I'm kids. sorry, did you say the last batch? Born yeah, in the 80s? born in the 80s. So they're all now born in the 90s. The incoming class this right. coming fall, most of them will have been born 1990. Oh my goodness. All right, it, with that and, and the stunning realization of the fact that I am growing older now, uh, let me introduce our next guest, and that is uh, Dr. Kyle Carter. He is a provost at Western Carolina University. Dr. Carter is the senior vice chancellor for the university and the chief academic officer. He oversees five colleges, arts and sciences, business, education, and allied professionals, fine and, and performing arts, and health and human services, and the Kimmel School of Construction Management and Technology, as well as the Graduate School, the Honors College, the library. The list goes on and on. How in the world did you have time to come on take a stand today? Um, well, I have good people that work with me, and um, that's, that's uh, and besides that, the chancellor wanted me to be here, and I'm always here with whatever the chancellor wants me to be. Now, now, being the first provost here at Western Carolina University, other than the enormous uh, responsibilities uh, that I just highlighted, what, what does that mean, being the first one here at Western? Well, I think what it means is um, establishing a model for those people that come after me, and it also means 